Democrat senator called for his assassination. Despite the hundreds of years of American history that tells us we need to respect the office of president, even if we don't respect the president, liberals have completely disregarded that because they really don't like this president. Some are falling back on the well, he didn't win the popular vote. Some are saying that he is doing a bad job, so he should be impeached. Some just don't like his hair. Apparently, just any old excuse to bash on our commander-in-chief will do, since all bets are off now that he had the audacity to beat Hillary out for the Oval Office. The lack of disrespect has led to the Secret Service having their work cut out for them. Actors, comedians and now even politicians think it's open season on the president and they're getting bolder by the minute. One Democrat from Missouri has gone way too far though. This state representative had the gall to actually come out and say that she hoped the president would be assassinated. She attempted to take it down immediately after, but of course, the internet kept a copy, and now she's in some pretty deep trouble. The Daily Caller reported on her now infamous Facebook post. A Missouri state senator said in a now-deleted Facebook post that she hopes President Donald Trump is assassinated. Maria Chappelle Nardal acknowledged on Thursday that she wrote a post which read, I hope Trump is assassinated. She made the comment in an exchange with a left-wing activist who claimed that his cousin is a Secret Service agent. Despite the hundreds of years of American history that tells us we need to respect the office of president, even if we don't respect the president, liberals have completely disregarded that because they really don't like this president. Some are falling back on the well he didn't win the popular vote. Some are saying that he is doing a bad job, so he should be impeached. Some just don't like his hair. Apparently, just any old excuse to bash on our commander-in-chief will do, since all bets are off now that he had the audacity to beat Hillary out for the Oval Office. The lack of disrespect has led to the Secret Service having their work cut out for them. Actors, comedians and now even politicians think it's open season on the president and they're getting bolder by the minute. One Democrat from Missouri has gone way too far though. This state representative had the gall to actually come out and say that she hoped the president would be assassinated. She attempted to take it down immediately after, but of course, the internet kept a copy, and now she's in some pretty deep trouble. The Daily Caller reported on her now infamous Facebook post. A Missouri state senator said in a now-deleted Facebook post that she hopes President Donald Trump is assassinated. Maria Chappelle Nogal acknowledged on Thursday that she wrote a post which read, I hope Trump is assassinated. She made the comment in an exchange with a left-wing activist who claimed that his cousin is a Secret Service agent. Chappelle Nogal confirmed to a reporter with St. Louis TV station KMOX that she posted the comment. I put something up on my personal Facebook page and it has now been deleted," she said. Chappelle Nadal, a Democrat, represents a district in a St. Louis suburb. It is not clear exactly what prompted Chappelle Nadal's comment. But it was likely made in response to a discussion about the ongoing controversy over Trump's comments about the violence in Charlottesville, Virginia over the weekend. According to Kmox, U.S. Secret Service in St. Louis is looking into Chappelle Nadal's post. You'd think that something like that would make a person want to slink off into obscurity, but apparently not. This isn't even an isolated incident. This racist state politician has had other issues with her integrity. In one case, she tried to bully a police chief into shutting down a highway so protesters could be safer while they slowed down all the normal, hard-working people going about their day. It ended with the police chief outing her methods, and she responded by keeping it classy and just flat out calling him a liar. If Chappelle Nadal hadn't made her violent and over-the-top comments, we wouldn't even be paying attention to her right now, but thanks to her little stunt, the eyes of the nation are on her corrupt and unacceptable career, and the heat is on. Nadal might think that what she did falls under freedom of speech, but the U.S. government has a different view of it. Her reward for the offending comments is to have to fight not only against the Republicans but to be disowned by her own party, and rightly so. She effectively ended her career in politics with that one ill-considered threat. Hopefully, this serves as a warning to all those who think that it's cool to loudly object to the president. Exercising your right to rally, 
or disagree or support those who you agree with your personal beliefs is one thing. Making threats against the president is another. Here's more from the St. Louis Post, dispatch on the mayhem that Chappelle Nadell is causing with her refusal to resign. Some of Missouri's highest-ranking officials delivered on Friday an ultimatum to State Senator Maria Chappelle Nadell, resign or be removed from office. Governor Eric Greedens, a Republican, issued the first warning just before noon in a series of tweets blasting Chappelle Nadell, a Democrat, for a comment Thursday on Facebook in which she said I hope Trump is assassinated. She quickly deleted the post. Condemnation on Thursday was swift, with both Democrats and Republicans calling on the senator from University City to resign. But Chappelle Nadell insisted she would not. On Friday, Greedon said this in his tweets, Senator Chappelle Nadal said she hopes the president is killed. Republicans and Democrats have called on her to resign. Her response, hell no. Last night, in an interview, she refused to apologize, twice. If she will not resign, the Senate can vote to remove her. I believe they should. Lt. Gov. Mike Parson, a Republican, piled on in a noon news conference, delivering the same ultimatum. I'm calling on Senator Chappelle Nadal to do the right thing and resign from her office, Parson said. However, if she does not do so by veto session, I will, in my position as President of the Missouri Senate, immediately seek the expulsion pursuant to Article 3 Section 18 of the Missouri Constitution. He said that he would seek Attorney General Josh Hawley's opinion on the applicability of the constitutional provision and that he would ask senators to initiate Chappelle Nadal's removal. The Secret Service said Thursday that it was investigating. Threatening the president is a federal crime. Two of the highest-ranking Senate Republicans said Friday afternoon in statements that they would employ rarely used parliamentary tools to expel Chappelle Nadal if need be. We are preparing for options afforded in the Missouri Constitution and the Senate rules if she continues to defy the public outcry and not resign, Senate President Pro Tem Ron Richard, R. Joplin said in a statement. The process of expulsion is a significant, rarely used step that should not be taken lightly, said Majority Floor Leader Mike Kehoe, our Jefferson City. We are researching the detailed steps involved in the expulsion process and will be prepared to move forward as necessary. Chappelle Nadal was defiant Thursday in several interviews in which she refused the calls to resign. She said she wrote the five-word Facebook comment because of her anger over President Donald Trump's response to violence in Charlottesville, Virginia, last weekend. On her Twitter profile Friday, she posted a link to a website, istandwithmaria.com, asking supporters to add their name to a list. Chappelle Nadal told the Post-Dispatch she met with the Secret Service on Thursday and explained to them that she had made a mistake. I made sure it was clear to them that the anger I experienced was related to the trauma my constituents are going through," said Chappelle Nadal, whose district includes Ferguson, a landfill linked to nuclear contamination and low-performing school districts. I do not wish harm to anyone. I could have chosen and should have chosen better language. I do not think it is worthy of expelling me from the Senate," Chappelle Nadal said. I am owning up to it. He makes me mad from time to time. He says outrageous things. My emotions got the best of me." Chappelle Nadal said Greedens and Parson were trying to divert attention away from Trump and his controversial statements about Charlottesville. Chappelle Nadal said she had no intention of resigning. Thank you for watching this video. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook and Twitter along with your comments. comments.